guys, so I actually have a tutorial for you today, and I know I haven't had done one in a while, so yay, tutorial! Um, I decided to do a spin on a mermaid look, and I wanted to use colors that I already own, and I wanted to use this pigment from Inglot that's absolutely beautiful. This is their uh, number 85, which is a brown with a really, really gorgeous like green reflex in it so wanted a great excuse to use it so here we go so if you guys want to learn how to do this eye look just keep watching okay so I've already primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance I'm going to apply uh, this color from the Naked uh, palette and it is called Buck and this is just going to go in my crease Then I'm going to take Inglot's uh, Matte Shadow, and this is number 329. Taking a crease brush, I'm going to place that right in my outer corner and blend that inward lightly. And as I reach the center of my eye, I'm going to be very light about that and blend that inward along with that crease shade that I started out with. I'm gonna go in my inner corner and do the same. I'm gonna go back again with Buck and kind of blend those colors out a little bit just so that um, everything is smoothly transitioned. If you take like an extra couple of minutes just to blend out with a fluffy brush, it'll make the biggest difference. And to deepen my corner just a little bit, I'm gonna be taking uh, this matte black shadow from Sugar Pill and it's bulletproof. I'm just going to pop that right into my corner of my eye. For the center of my lid, I left that bare for a reason. I'm gonna be taking Inglot's uh, Loose Shadow and this is their 85, which is beautiful, beautiful color. Just taking some water and a little bit of the, the pigment, I'm gonna create kind of like a paste-like consistency with a brush. Then I'm gonna take that and kind of spread that over the center of my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in flip side, and I'm going to place that in my water. Actually, this is going below my waterline, sorry. And it's going to go just along my lashes. I'm going to be taking uh, another Inglot Matte Shadow. This is the 372. This is also a warning to people who like to depot shadows. Um, Inglot's shadows are really, really soft, so... Be careful when you're trying to take them out because they shatter very easily. <laughs> Taking a flat angled brush, I'm just going to push that over that eyeliner. I'm going to go over the corner with a little bit more of that brown and that black that I used from earlier just to kind of make it a little more smoky. Taking Sin from the Naked palette, I'm going to put that right in my inner corner in between where the bridge of my nose is and where that dark color is just to create a small highlight. Now I'm going to create a thin line just for my lashes to sit on and I've been using a Stella's Loose Pigment um, from Sugar Pill and it's just this black pigment um, you could see right here and then I've been using a cell sealer as a mixing medium. I'm going to take Miss Adoro number 47s and just place those over my eyes. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial. I have a video on what I put on my face just because I wanted to do an update on how to do contouring, highlighting, and creating a very healthy summer-like glow. So I'll have a video on that uh, for you guys to check out. But um, that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial. Hope that you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.